Yo guys, welcome to your 10th PSD to WordPress lesson and in this video I want to give you a quick overview of the WordPress admin area. Alright then guys, so basically this is going to be a whirlwind tour of the admin area. So if you've used WordPress before and you know your way around, you might want to skip ahead because otherwise it's going to be pretty boring, you may not learn anything new. However, if you've not used WordPress before or you've only just used it a little bit and you're getting into it then you might want to stick around because I'm going to show you how to add new posts or edit posts, pages, uh, change the theme, that kind of thing, alright? But it is just going to be a whirlwind tour, I'm going to whiz through these fairly quickly. So this is the dashboard guys, this is what WordPress throws up at you every time you log in and it's just got the basics here, you can see how many posts or pages or comments you've got on your site, uh, the recent activity, uh, you can make a quick draft, that kind of thing and you can even move these around, how cool is that, <laughs> right? So typically if I want to add a new post, I'll come to posts and that's what we're going to look at first, alright? So this here is going to list all your posts and to begin with, there is one there and this comes along with WordPress when we do a fresh install called Hello World. Now the edit link takes you to the edit screen, quick edit, just lets us edit a few different things but there's no need to load a new screen so that's why it's called quick edit. Um, the trash link takes you to the trash, uh, trash can and the view, if we open this up in a new browser, I already did that here, lets us see it in the website, how it looks, alright? Cool, so if we click on it, we go through to the edit screen and we can edit the title, we can edit the URL right here, uh, we can edit the content of the post and this right here is the WordPress WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. And we've got things like bold, italic and all these different tools here, but if you want to enter HTML into this portion, then you just click text and you can do it right here. Also, we've got these categories things here, so if you want to apply a category to your post or put your post in a particular category, we can do that. Currently, there's only one category that comes shipped with WordPress, that's uncategorized, uh, but we can add new ones here if we wanted to and apply it to those categories. We can do the same with tags, we just write them here, separate them with commas and click add. And the featured image, we can apply an image to this post, which we're going to use later on. So I'm going to talk about categories and featured image a little bit later on. And we are going to make some new posts as well. Uh, for now, let's have a look at this categories link. This is where we can add new categories, as well as in adding a new post. We can add them right here. Uh, so the slug is just the URL, basically. Uh, the name of the category. The parent, you can assign it a parent category. Uh, give it a description. Then all your categories are going to be listed here when you've saved them. Same four tags, pretty similar. Now, the media section is where we would upload images to use in our blog posts, all right, or pages. That's pretty similar, you just click, uh, simple, you just click on this add new button right there. The pages is similar to the posts link, however, a post is used for more uh, blog post kind of things, or news items, or other things that are time relevant. Pages are typically used for constant features on your website, such as an About Us page, right? So same again, if we click on that, we get a sample page with WordPress then we can edit everything here as well. All right. Uh, the comments is where we can just review all the comments that people leave in our blog and we can either approve them or we can mark them as spam there or trash them. Whatever you want to do, we can do it there with the comments. And the appearance tab is where we control which theme we're using, which by default is this 2015 theme which WordPress ships with, right? We've also got the 2014 and the 2013 which the old versions of WordPress shipped with as well. Currently this 2015 one is active but when we create our new theme what we're going to do is say add new theme and we're going to upload ours, alright? So we've got some other sub options right here, uh, just show you a couple of them. Widgets is where we control the widgets on the sidebar, things like a search box or the recent posts. I'll show you a little bit more about that Later, uh, the menu section is where we can control the different menus on our site. Again, I'm going to show you all of this later when we create the menu for our blog. Uh, then the editor is where we can edit the theme files. I prefer to edit the theme files in the text editor uh, just because it looks nicer, it's easier to code and I prefer to do it that way. However, you can edit them here if you wish to. Now, the plugins tab lets us install plugins. And plugins are essentially packages which extend WordPress's functionality. And we're going to be installing and using a plugin later on in the series. So I'm going to show you all about that later on. WordPress ships with these two plugins uh, by default. And it tells you a little bit about them there if you want to read it. 
uh, but we can add a new one by clicking add new. Like I say, we'll do that later. Uh, the users tab lets us add new users who can add pages, so we can add a new one up there. Also shows you the current users on your site. This is me, Ninja Admin, uh, or Ninja Man rather. But I can go to your profile if I want to, and I can change some different things about my profile. I can change the color scheme, uh, change it to midnight, that's pretty cool, and it changes the color of the back end for you. Um, we can also change my name, my details, a bit of a bio, uh, create a new password, and then just click update profile to save everything. All right, so now I've got this new color scheme. Pretty cool. Um, the tools lets us import or export posts. So that's good if you're moving from another blog or CMS system. And we can import all those blogs or posts that we've got on our old site into this one. Or likewise, we can export them if we're moving to a different content management system. And then finally, guys, the settings just lets us change the general settings of the site, uh, the title, the address, blah de blah de blah, a few different things here. Uh, the permalinks is one that we're going to dive into in the very next um, tutorial because that lets us change the URL structure of our posts. All right, so that's your whirlwind tour of the back end. Like I say, I wasn't going to go into any great depth in this tutorial series. There's no real need to. I mean, as we go through it, I'm going to be going into more depth into little areas. Uh, as we use them. So yeah, that should give you a brief overview of what everything does. Have any questions at all, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise guys, remember to subscribe to catch all the updates and I'll see you in the very next video.